Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack the Lad once again for Rivervale Leasing, Sussex radio presenter and a very proud ambassador for Rivervale Leasing. Once again, it is a beautiful day here at Rivervale House in central Brighton and I'm going to go for a drive today in something very different because I've done electric cars and I've done normal cars but I've never driven a van for Rivervale Leasing, which is what I'm going to do today. Behind me is the Maxxis Deliver 9 Lux. That is what I'm going to be driving today. This is Vince Pemberton. Now, Vince, as well as being a very dear friend of mine, is the big dog, you know what I mean? He's the big cheese, the head honcho, you know what I mean? This is the Duke of Rivervale Leasing. Uh, and Vince wanted to come in and just sort of have a chat with me about the van before I take it out, because Vince, essentially, in the world of vans, it's quite an interesting time right now, isn't it? Yeah, there's a worldwide shortage of cars and vans. And why? Well, I think there's a number of issues. Obviously, there's the obvious in COVID, um, distribution problems, semiconductor problems. It's a crazy world at the minute. And the world needs vans, man. Britain needs vans. And the good thing is, because this is a Maxxis dealership as well, there's no shortage of these beauties, is there, Vince? Yeah, yeah. On the back of COVID again, you know, how many home deliveries are taking place with the courier companies? You know, so uh, we've been lucky with the Maxxis product, doesn't seem to be as badly affected. Uh, and we've been in a fortunate position to be able to put a stock allocation order in early. So we're filming this in the middle of July, uh, or middle to the end of July. If someone was to phone you up today, Vince, phone up Rivervale Leasing and say, I want an order of a Maxxis van, how quickly could they get one? Well, there are some vehicles still around in stock, but we've ordered a batch particularly for October in the two variants, which is the base model and the Lux model. And you, I'm a fan of these vans and I find it interesting because you've been in this uh, industry all your life, uh, which means you're really quite old. Um, but <laughs> this is a van and you've got to say it, I guess, because you're a dealership, but you're a fan of these, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am a big fan of the Maxxis van. It's got everything that any driver would want. I mentioned to you earlier, you know, it's going to come with the air conditioning and the Bluetooth. They're probably the first things on every van driver's wish list, is air, especially today, mm. is the aircon and Bluetooth and the cruise control. And it all comes as standard, the reverse parking, all standard. Right, okay. So it's a great van. Cool. And so I'm going to take you for a drive. Don't come with me because I'm a bad driver. I shouldn't say that to a man who <laughs> gives me a car, should I? But I am, you know what I mean? But before I go, it's just one more question. Vince, why do you support West Ham? <laughs> Well, it was a choice of West Ham or Spurs, Jack, to be fair. Dad, my brother, granddad, Spurs, Nan, Arsenal. And I, I, just, I just went for the claret and blue. <laughs> Never mind, fella. <laughs> right, so that's Vince, a uh, great friend of mine. And this, he is uh, the Chief Operating Officer here at Rivervale. So he's told you about the availability of the van, which is great, but how does it drive? Now, as you know from my previous videos, I don't know much about cars. I know even less about vans, but I'm gonna get in, give it a drive and tell you what I think. So let's get cracking. So here we are then inside uh, the Maxxis uh, Deliver 9 Lux. Um, vans have come a long way, do you know what I mean? I don't drive a lot of vans. Usually when I do a high one and they're old and beaten up and stuff. But this thing's proper, lovely big screen in the middle, which is touch screen as well. Um, it's got air con, it's got Bluetooth, it's got reverse park cameras and sensors and whatnot. I mean, it's like a nice car. I just, I've never been in a van like that. Um, it's really, really spot on this. I'm gonna take it for a drive now, see what it's like to drive and have another chat. But yeah, I've got to tell you something, pretty impressive inside for a van. And you get three people in the front. That's always cool, isn't it? You know what I mean? You get three people in it. Not two, you know what I mean? You have two women in it or, or, or two men, you can, two, two, two animals. Right, and off we go then, eh? Woohoo! hoo It's something about driving a van. I don't know, it just makes you feel, I don't know, you know, I don't want to say manly because there's lots of female van drivers as well, but when you're in a van, from a male point of view, you know what I mean, you feel like a geezer, you know what I mean? Cool. So this is it then, the Maxxis Deliver 9. It's great, man. Uh, as I have said more than once uh, on this video so far, I know nothing about vans. I mean, I don't know a lot about cars. I know even less about vans. But um, what I do know is this. People that have vans tend to have vans because they spend a lot of time in said van. Therefore, the way I see it is the van has got to be comfortable. It's got to have everything you would have in your car because you know, you're trundling up motorways. You know what I mean? You're out delivering all day. I mean, as Vince uh, said earlier, think about what's going on in the world at the minute and how many home deliveries are going on. People are spending a lot of time in their vans. So, what does the Maxxis Deliver 9 
have that I think a van driver would want to know about. Well, it's got a touch screen, a big screen as well. It's got Bluetooth connectivity for your music. Boom, you know what I mean? You spend a lot of time in your van, you want to listen to what you want to listen to. It's got that. It's got aircon, obviously no worries with that. What else has it got? It's got reverse parking sensors, uh, front and back, and a reverse parking camera. Boom. It's got eco mode and power mode. I'm gonna put power mode on in a minute in the van. It's got that automatic headlights, you know, just turn on the road when it gets dark, they're coming on, so that's good. Something for the, the driver not to worry about. Um, it's got uh, lane change assist, spot on, you know what I mean? It's got, um, what's it called, uh, traction control as well, you know what I mean? DAB, it's got everything this van, and it looks proper, like really nice. The, the dash and that, it's not like something you get from a rental company, it's as nice as a car, I'm telling you. It's quality, this. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? It's something about driving a van. Let's go at a roundabout, see how he holds the road. Go on, son, man, you go. Beautiful. Look at that, hey? Eh? I'm driving in a van today, yeah, mama. Yeah, it's got it all, this. And the other thing that drivers, uh, van drivers want to know, and I know this because I ask some people, right? What is the payload? I think that's the terminology. What can this van carry weight-wise? Well, this van will give you 1,240 kilograms. That's what you can carry in this bad boy. So essentially, that's over 1.2 tonnes. That's a lot of, I don't know, Amazon products. That's a lot of cash and carry stuff. It's a lot of bags of gravel, yeah! You know what I mean? So that's good. Yeah, just over 1.2 ton it can carry, which is great. Uh, you've got a nice little bit here for your phone. As I say, you've got nice uh, inner door panels there. Put your bits and bobs. And you know what else it's got? And this is important for any, any van driver worth their salt, right? This is important. It's got a nice bit of space up the front for your used coffee cups, your used McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffin wrappers, and of course, the old staple in the old working man's van, or woman. Plenty of up there for your daily star. Get in there, my son. Brilliant. It's six speed, this thing, as well. It's really comfortable. I'll tell you, you know what I mean? Big old, big old van, but going over a few little sort of manholes here, and, and put, there's a putt I just went over, and you're not bouncing about all over the place. And once you get, so I'm in sixth gear now, I'm doing just under 40 mile an hour, it's pretty quiet as well, do you know what I mean? This is a diesel that I'm in here. It's really comfortable to drive, man. So we're going and heading back to base. I enjoyed that. The Maxus Deliver 9. This is the Lux. This is the top of the range one, it's good. So there you go then. That is your Maxus Deliver 9. This is the Lux version. And it's really, really nice. I don't need a van. I've never needed a van. Like I say, when I do, I hire one. But Britain needs vans. You know what I mean? And there's a shortage of them right now. Uh, as Vince, uh, the chief operating officer here at River Vale Leasing, said at the start of the video that we've done today, you know, we've got these in stock and we've got even more coming in October. Certain other brands, and I'm not going to name them because I'll get in trouble, but they rhyme with board pans it. If you wanted one of them, you could be looking at April, May next year. So check it out, rivervaleleasing.co.uk. We're an official Maxxis dealership, and these things could be with you a lot quicker than certain others. I'm really quite impressed with this today. This is Jack the Lad, uh, Sussex Radio presenter and Rivervale Leasing Ambassador. Um, do take care of yourselves. Um, any info you want, visit the website. They'll look after you whether they do that. And uh, as always, I encourage you to do it the right way. Do it the Rivervale way. My love to you and your families. Hope this finds you safe and well. Cheers. Mm -hmm.